hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be drawing some still life using oil pastels um, oil pastels is one of my favorite mediums to use to create art I mainly do digital art I do digital illustrations but if I'm gonna do traditional art besides the basic pencil and eraser I absolutely love oil pastels so I decided to first draw a banana I was working on the line art of the banana using of course a reference I had found on Pinterest you might see at the corner of my screen um, my laptop stand my laptop was right on there and I was looking at the screen for reference so once I figured out what my final line art was gonna be it wasn't something too complicated just like the basic shape of the banana because I definitely was gonna go over the shape uh, with the oil pastels once I figured that out I decided to add all of the extra colors on the banana and that's when I realized the banana is not fully yellow it's actually quite surprising there was some green there was some orange there was brown obviously but there wasn't just yellow so I decided to add all of the little colors and shades and tints that I could find on the banana before filling it in with the actual yellow that I found was most accurate for this banana so I worked on it until I, re I figured it was complete and then I decided to add a shadow to the banana The best decision I could have made for this illustration slash drawing was to add that blue background. Like it fit perfectly with the yellow banana. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's happy. I just, I loved it. So you're gonna watch me just fill in the background with the blue. I was trying my best not to finish the oil pastel completely as I was filling out the background. But yeah, this is the final result. Moving on to the next drawing, this one is going to be a tomato. So first I started by drawing the leaves and then the actual shape of the tomato. I had a bit of um, struggle in the beginning into finding my proper proportions, but eventually I figured it out and then I decided to clean up my um, line art and also go over the entire line art with my eraser so that the lines could be less visible when I do go in with um, the oil pastels when it was time to go in with the oil pastels I decided to go one shade at a time so I realized that the green of the leaves it wasn't just one green I of course had the help of my reference sheet where I did swatch all of the oil pastels and identified them so I just pretty much test out the color and then I'd identify which uh, number of oil pastel it is so that I can make sure to use the right color and shade of that color so there you can see me just uh, figuring out what looks the most appropriate to add uh, highlights and shadows to the tomato. I did want to render as much as possible before adding my final fill in color which I knew I wanted to be a bright red. And just to make things look a little bit better after filling in my tomato I decided to try to blend all of those shades together so I used my fingers I used q-tips then I went back to using my fingers again I was just pretty much testing it out um, remember this video is a testing out my oil markers with me type of video so as I'm testing out the oil markers I'm thinking why not just create a drawing with it you know like let's not just do swatches or little circles or hearts or stars like let's try to actually draw with it so i was just trying to figure out what would be the best way to blend um those oil markers and once again i stick beside my finger i think it's pretty effective so far Here I added the last few final touches and then my final result was this. For the next illustration we're going to draw a couple of craft dinner pasta onto a fork. A little funky, kind of fun, a bit challenging for me as well but I decided not to back down. 
you can see me um, doing my line art I started by drawing the floor first and then I was trying to draw just the silhouette of the craft dinner you know it's a uh, like a bite of craft dinner so it's a bunch of little craft dinner pasta onto the fork so I decided to go in with like the perimeter of it first and then proceed into adding details as I would have figured out my perimeter. I of course was using a reference from my computer screen that was in front of me, like where that reference sheet is laying is my computer. So um, as soon as I figured out what colors it was that I should begin with, I grabbed that oil pastel color and I started to um, add color to my drawing. This far, I had used three shades of yellow, one that's more on the brown side, one that's more on the orange side, and one that's more on the yellow side. At some point, I'll admit I had no idea what it was that I was doing, but I decided to trust the process. As an artist, you really humble yourself and you do decide to trust the process because if not, like, what am I, uh, somebody that gives up? No, I'm not. So. I decided to just keep going I added a fourth shade of yellow maybe a fifth one I'm not even sure by then before um, I moved on to the fork so the whole process with the fork I wanted to first outline the fork and then highlight it so that's why I pulled out that light purple kind of pastel purple it didn't work very well so then I decided to move in with some um, a dark gray to add some shade and then the light gray to fill in the, the fork. I decided to highlight with some light blue. I was just testing out to see if it would work. It didn't work very well. Even after I had blended it with Q-tips, so at that point I was just like, okay, which color is going to save my drawing now? So, I don't know. I just moved on to the background and decided to make it dark purple, and then I highlighted my craft dinner with some dark blue. And moving on from there, I'm just going to let the music ride as we watch the coloring happen. After filling in the background with dark blue, I decided to go over the perimeter of my fork with a black oil pastel, which unfortunately it did mess up the teeth of my fork, but once I show the final result at the very end, you will see it fixed. That next illustration, I did sketch, um, it's a yellow pepper. I did sketch the yellow pepper off camera, but I went right into it by starting to draw a couple of the shading and highlights that I was seeing on the yellow pepper. So there was some green, once again, dark green, um, lighter green as well. Like there was highlights of green. And there was also golden brown, so I decided to just identify as many colors and shades as I could first before once again filling in the yellow pepper with the brightest yellow shade that I thought was appropriate. So I just had fun recognizing all of the different colors and shades that are in one single vegetable. And then I moved on to blending in all of those different colors.
after coloring in the background this was the final result and I was pretty proud of how it looked so this is it for this video of me drawing still life with oil pastels at the end I did go over a few details of each page but uh, you're gonna see here the green pepper the fork with the craft dinner on top of it I added a few corrections and I did fix the teeth then there's the tomato and the banana if you've made it this far thank you so much you're the best please leave me a comment let me know what you think uh, share your observations and meet me on my next video bye